83, let's get stuck into it. G'day and welcome back to Fun with Canva. In today's tutorial we are going to be looking at the sticker effect in Canva and how to produce stickers or memes, sticker memes. Sticker memes. So let's go into uploads and I'm going to use one of the images that I used before and that is the Boss Baby one. So I'm going to click on this one and I generated this from the AI in elements. <coughs> so once we've got that in, what we need to do is remove background. And once we've removed the background, we'll just bring these in slightly. Okay, and we come over to elements and we grab a square. You can use any any shape, it doesn't really matter, but for this one we're going to use a square. And then what we do is we just bring it down and we want to we want to have the head above so we'll orientate it like that and then what we do is send it to back all right so the body is within the uh, square the other thing we need to do is like choose a background color of the square for example so you can leave it as red or you can choose any particular color so if you want to choose another color you can choose these solid colors here you can choose gradient so for the uh, exercise that I did before I chose that one and then I um, titled it you want a what so I'll just copy that and bring it over here and paste that there and then I'll just position it and drop it down and position it in the center. All right, so that font is Coral Reef and 42.2 for the purposes of this tutorial. All right, so once we've done that, we then wanna come over here to download. We wanna download, make sure you download the current page and then press download. Then open up a new page drag that in okay and you're going to do this in two stages so what we want to do now is we want to come over to edit and we want to go to shadow and we want to do outline oops sorry there you go it got me uh, we want to remove background first. So to save uh, a background being uploaded you can download as a transparent background and just drag these in like so like so then come over to edit and go to shadows go to outline and you'll see the outline appears around the image itself and not the page. Now you can adjust the outline to whatever color we're going to put it as white and might drop it down to 20 okay now then what you do is again go to download download current page then open up a new page drag that image into the new page and enlarge it out you don't have to enlarge it out but yeah just enlarge it out gets it bigger then bring those in like so and because we're going to add a shadow just leave enough around the image to do the shadow so come to edit go to shadows again and go to drop and you can change the background color oh there we go again background remover always remove the background unless you save it as transparent got me twice all right and then I added the shadow and it's kept the shadow there so that's it in a nutshell everyone i really appreciate the interest on the facebook group um, and hopefully the interest is on the youtube channel so log on to youtube uh, fun with canva uh, press the subscribe button um, notification button uh, like and share drop a comment and until next time have fun with canva and bye for now testing one two three